Hello my pizzeria peeps, we have some rather amazing updates and news concerning the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Oh, we have gotten some juicy tidbits thanks to Papa Blum himself. Drop them W's for Papa Blum in the chat, please. He graced us today with not only a release date for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, we got our first official look of the movie and another piece of news that does have me a little bit worried. We're gonna get into that. But overall, it is still a time for celebration here, man. They just finished filming about a couple of days ago, we should all be jumping up and down. So I'll be breaking down all these details here for you guys, but I want to hear from you Five Nights at Freddy's fans. What do you think of this first look? Any thoughts and theories you might have attached to it? I've already seen some MatPat level of reaching, but that's what this community has been based off. So don't let me stop you from reaching, as well as hitting that like button and subscribing if you haven't already. It would mean a lot to me. All right, so yes, I was just finished watching my second viewing of the Super Mario movie because I did enjoy it that much to see it twice. But as soon as I got into my car, boom, Jason Blum revealed an update and I turned into Vin Diesel on them roads. Last week, Papa Blum was teasing some big news and he finally delivered by saying, as promised, FNAF fans, you asked and we delivered. FNAF movie is coming this Halloween on October 27th, 2023 205 days until the party and that is the big news and let me tell you papa blunt it is big i am staring at it gloriously that's pretty big man can we take all that news that's something a lot of us fans were wondering we know they had just filmed the movie at the beginning of this year and like they've done with the halloween movies if they can film it at the beginning of the year sometimes they can release it by the end of the year still we weren't a hundred percent sure and had to be ready in case they wanted to release it next year but no thank goodness they're not keeping us in suspense we're gonna be getting it here so it's only gonna be like in two or three months we're gonna start getting posters teaser trailers full-on marketing left and right i saw how crazy they went with the megan stuff i can't can't wait to see what they do for Freddy Fazbear. Now before I get to talking about the thing that had me worried, let's still continue this nice hype fun train and take a look at our first official look of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Revealed on the official Instagram for Universal, they gave us a photo here. We as fans who have been obsessed with the Five Nights at Freddy's news actually got to see this photo being shot in real time. If you remember way back where we saw a whole bunch of camera crew with an actual animatronic in front of the pizzeria, people were going crazy, being so mad at me that I made a video talking about that saying, Chris, you're spoiling the movie. You ruined it. I have no life now. Well, that's literally the first thing Blumhouse decided to show you. Now go leave them a hate comment that'll make them cry at night. Joking aside though, I like it, man. This is a nice creepy little atmosphere. Freddy Fazbear there standing next to a small child. The withered down sign that we have seen go through so much progress as that building was being made in real time. There's really a lot you could speculate from this photo. For one, fans are wondering, what the heck happened to Freddy Fazbear's ear? It looks like he's missing one of them. As far as I know, he's usually got two of them, but it could just be the angle, or if not, hey, it's still a good look. Also, 100% finally officially confirming it, there will be no white gloves on these animatronics. That's something we thought maybe would happen, because we literally have a sign right up there with white gloves on it. I honestly would not have mind that. It would have given a nice distinction to the movie versions of these animatronics, but they don't have them here. But the most obvious thing fans were speculating about is who is that little kid standing next to Freddy Fazbear? And while we were all theorizing on who it could possibly be, YouTuber Daco was gracious enough to let us know exactly who it is, naming the kid as Abby. If you guys haven't heard, there was a select group of online influencers who were personally picked by Scott Cawthon to come onto the set of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie to kind of film a little bit, experience the movie. Let me tell you, I was insanely jealous, but these are people that have been talking about Five Nights at Freddy's and Bill building up the brand for so many years, they deserve it. You can also check out their videos where they talk in details about their experience on set and the little things they saw, which is why I'm gonna trust and credit Daco here for knowing exactly that that's Abby here. Now, if you don't know, Abby is supposed to be Mike Schmidt's sister in the movie. Mike Schmidt being played by Josh Hutcherson. A lot of fans have been theorizing that Abby is a different version of Elizabeth Afton, who in the video games is his sister, blonde hair, pink dress, ice cream kid. But like we expected, the movie is gonna do some things differently all with Scott's permission and this kind of angle of it befriending Freddy Fazbear while at the same time her brother is working the night shifts of this place seeing all the creepy stuff going around that's gonna be an interesting angle that the movie will be able to play on to either way really cool first shot here so now let's talk about the one thing I was worried about and before I dive into this I want to say I'm looking forward to this movie I'm excited you guys know me I like to be as positive as possible but every now and then I also got to be honest and when I see something that I'm like that has me worried 
I'm not gonna hide it from y'all. So the surprise announcement that came with all this information was them deciding to release this movie in theaters and on Peacock the exact same day. This is stuff I thought we had left behind in the pandemic era where, you know, people couldn't go to the theater, but Blumhouse still seems to be on this train and wanting to use it to boost up their Peacock subscribers. And whenever I complain about something like this, I'll get concerns from you guys going, Chris, why do you care if I can go to the theater or sit down at home where I feel safe and watch it there. It's not your money. Oh, you're very right. But there are a couple of red flags that come up when a studio decides to do this. Red flag number one, expect this budget to be low, okay? We already knew Blumhouse likes to make their horror movies on the cheap. That's fine, and it's actually the smart way to go about things. That way, their movies can almost sometimes guarantee a profit, even if they're crap. People just want to see a horror movie, so they'll make enough money to where they end up successful. And heck, their Halloween trilogy did that so well. They spent such little money and made boatloads of cash. I don't think it'll end up looking like banana splits level of low budget, but still, that's something to think about. The second thing there, the quality of the movie, man. I have said this time and time again. Streaming has become the new straight to DVD. If a studio has a movie and they decide, yeah, this is probably better for streaming instead of theatrical, that's them kind of saying, we don't think this thing is going to make a lot of money. And you also have to remember, in October, Blumhouse has another big movie planned to release. That is the Exorcist reboot. They are putting a lot of cheddar into hoping that becomes the next Halloween franchise and goes really big. That's only like two weeks away, and I'm going to want you to notice the different marketing techniques that Blumhouse is about to take with the Exorcist that they are hoping goes big, and then the way they're going to treat the Five Nights at Freddy's movie that is ending up on streaming. There is also major concerns now for piracy. If you release a movie in HD in its full glory straight to the internet, that movie will end up on every pirated website so much easier. For my fans of like Scream 6, you saw on TikTok that same weekend that movie released, there were thousands of edits of people taking shots and putting little music to them. They'll have the HD movie to rip online. So you got to hope you see Five Nights at Freddy's the second it lands in theaters or on streaming, or you'll be spoiled on the internet with full on HD clips. Again, I'd love to be proven wrong, but they did this with Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends, you know how the reception on those films kind of turned out. If they truly made an outstanding movie that they fully believe people will buy repeated tickets for, they would not toss it on stream in the same day. And I guess it's also worth mentioning the same day the Five Nights at Freddy's movie's coming out is also the same day they have scheduled for the new Saw movie. Maybe a couple of years ago that would have been worrisome, but Saw has been burying itself in the ground lately, and that's me talking as a fan. I love Saw. I'ma be there day one for that new movie, but the hype for Saw is not what it used to be. So I don't really know if that's major competition, but still, that is competition. Horror fans to a horror movie, it's gonna be some divide there. Again, I would love to be proven wrong, and I'm still still gonna hope this movie is awesome but I'm just being honest with you guys being in this movie space for a long time this is a red flag so just tame expectations other than that though it's gonna be kind of hard to diminish my excitement you still have Matthew Lillard there Josh Hutcherson physical animatronics I'm sure it'll still be a big winner for fans I'm also hoping because it goes to streaming and theaters now maybe it is rated R with them putting it on streaming it shows that they're confident enough that they have a low enough budget that they think they'll still get enough sweaty nerds that'll go see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie to churn a profit while some will decide to stay at home and watch it there. But we'll have to wait and see on that. This is why I throw it off to you guys. What do you think of this first look, the release date, and the red flags with the movie being theater and streaming on the same day? Anything interesting, be sure and like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.